Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kashara. Nice to meet you. If you're new to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about my unglamorous, non-dramatic testimony life. What is a testimony? So a testimony is just a a life declaration of how once how your life used to be and what it is now I am a Christian I'm going to talk about my life before Christ I have seen a lot a lot of testimonies I've heard a lot of testimonies in my Christian life it's always encouraging to see how God has changed people's lives wow oh my god God did that that is amazing and then you just speak about your testimony just like yeah, you know, yeah, I believe in God since I can remember, you know, always been what I've been in church, you know, yes, 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 God has always been with me, you know, yes, I have the blessing of the Lord, I've been baptized when I was one day old, and yeah, and yeah, and then, you know, you start to feel like, God, do you not love me like you love these other people? Is not my life important? Everyone's life's different, God says everyone differently, listen, God, do your thing. I roughly remember around the age of nine me with my bible i had like this i can't even say, i had like a little black bible yeah it's like i can't explain it but then when i turn the pages the pages were all crisp and you know that sound it's just like <sighs> and i also had like you know that red test the new testament bible that it was like one of their ones <laughs> okay 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 i'm sure you know come on comment down below if you know what i'm talking about I always used to write in my Bible, I was like, I pray for my aunties and uncles, my grandma, my grandma, my, uh, my dad, my sister, my mum, and all the other people in the world. One of my primary schools was a Roman Catholic school, and I remember like on Ash Wednesday, she used to get the cross, and I used to feel like so legit, I was like, yay! And I remember I always used to want to go to church with my aunties, and I used to go to, she used to go to a Latter-day Saints one, and I didn't care what it was, because I just wanted to go, because I wanted to know about God. And when I went to secondary school now, I was 14, so I got saved in September, so... Before that, so basically, in like the late, the late August, and then I got invited to a concert. So I went to a concert, and then there, I remember giving my life to Christ. And answered the call. I was still a virgin. I didn't. Obviously, I was young, so I didn't really go to the clubs. I was 13, 14. So my family wasn't really like religious. I was like the first person in my like intimate family to like start going to church and start being serious about God. And when I got older now and I started seeing everyone's like seeing people getting saved and stuff and I was like, oh I got saved from you know I was in a crip gang and chicken, not in a crip gang, but you know, like I used to bust shots and I got shot at one point. You know, I got stuff that's some people went to pain, I went to prison, I went to set with like 60 baby dads and all of this stuff. When you're thinking to yourself like, what is my life? I got a video, I will link it down below that I didn't even want to share it at first because I thought that my life was just it wasn't that like, powerful enough to talk about. Like, how is God going to get the glory out of this um, little pathetic life of like a 13, 14 year old? So I didn't come from like a crazy, crazy background. But as I got saved, I noticed that God was changing me. Like my life, I just didn't, I can't even put into words, but God has been amazing. And I don't want you to get discouraged. Every person has a story to tell. God is powerful in every single one of our lives. So I don't want you to ever think that, okay, God, you know, don't you love me enough? Why isn't my story glamorous? Just think about it, yeah. God has saved you, like, from going through certain stuff, right? And I'm not saying that we're, you know, you're better than the person that has gone through loads of things. And remember, God's ways is not our ways. God's thoughts is not our thoughts. Since I've gotten saved, I have gone through so much. It's just little things in my life. It's only God. My faith in God has nearly stopped, was nearly stopped. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> around the age of 16, 17, I went through some, around 16, 17, I went through some mental things. It, it's just crazy. I have gone through some personal. Just, I promise you guys, when I'm ready to talk about it, I will talk about it. Since I became a Christian, it's not all just all like deep down stuff. I have gone through good times and I thank the good Lord <laughs> for it. I made this video just to say your story is important. Life may not be all Hollywood and stars and stuff like that, but it could even be as much as a little thing as you not thinking in a defeated mindset anymore it could be as small as you giving up like maybe drinking or giving up sleeping around or not even giving up but god helping you just just little little things like god thought it was worth dying for god has a purpose for everything 
I have to keep reminding myself that because sometimes I get discouraged like what is my purpose I am useless like what am I doing I am not even worthy to speak about God just pray that this video has helped you and just look at God in a different way look at your life in a different light you're, you're as valuable as the next person your you, use is important you is special and you is loved I don't know where that is from it yet but yeah <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check the description box. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to my channel.